at all those apples. Ripe and juicy. Perfect for booking. What the heck is going on? <gasps> there. This is the Sweet Apple Acres Cold Red. I need all hooves and claws on deck. I can Sweet Apple Acres. But I thought the fruit bats usually stayed put in the West Orchard. The fruit bats do. If they think they're gonna sink their fangs into my blue ribbon apple. Is he getting an apple to grow like this? Applejack, when you go big, you really go big. You leave it alone. Yeah, right. Be my guest. Wondering if maybe you wouldn't mind leaving that really big apple alone? This is the first vampire fruit bat I've ever met, and, well... It might take some time for me to really understand their language. Every other apple in the orchard! These vampire bats are nothing but a bunch of monsters! Monsters? The vampire bats will give you a fright. Eating apples both day and night. They rest for a minute. They don't care about nada. Not zilch, no nothing. Except bringing about and If I did not defend them, then I would be remiss. These bats are mamas and... and these creatures have a one-track mind. The orchard is not their restaurant. But do they ever think what others have act? That's where I have to disagree. They're loyal to their family. Big and ugly and mean as sin. Will you look at the state? My life to a total disaster. Well, I for one don't have a doubt these vermin down to just one simple fact. They cross the line, it's time to fight them. Stop the bats, back. stop the bats, stop the bats. Make them go and not come back. You see, it comes down. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but I believe Applejack has made the better argument. These vampire frogs! Um, excuse me, but, um, what if instead of rounding them up, we let them have the sanctuary for them? They could have their own apples to enjoy. After a while, they could even help the rest of your orchard. Listen, Fluttershy, that sounds real nice and all, but every second we spend building this so-called sanctuary, and I've stories about it that just the thought of it gives me nightmares. Right? Not a drop. No cider? No cider! You're here telling us to do just that. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but I think Applejack is right. So there's good news and bad news. The good news is that I found a spell that can get the vampire fruit bats to stop wanting to Fluttershy. I need you to do your stare on the bats. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I've made a vow not to use it except in dire circumstances. This circumstance is plenty dire to me. I'm sorry. I just don't like the idea of taking away the thing that really makes the vampire fruit bats. That feel wrong, too? Um. Um. Okay, I'll do it. Good choice. I knew it. Hold it right there. We gotta round up these beasts with wings first. Time's a wasting.
gotta do is sweep up these cores so I can start bucking fresh tomorrow morning. somewhere. Come down when she's ready. Let her bat on the wheel! She's just biding her time, waiting for the right moment to pounce. Thank you, Pa. Bats don't eat pony. How did this happen? That's what I don't understand. I think this was actually our fault. Okay, so this is me, these are the bats, and this is Fluttershy doing her stare. The spell was supposed to and transfer that desire into Fluttershy. Come on, we'll reverse the spell and make it right. Lee, we lost her. Oh, Fluttershy, where are you? <laughs> so I can reverse the spell. There she goes! Oh, this is no use. I think the only way we're gonna catch her is if we find a way. Oh, if only we had Fluttershy to do her stare on the Flutter Bat! That's it! So much for having the winning apple in the Appaloosa State Fair, huh? <sighs> Fluttershy and better apple trees. 
Does that mean what I think it means? Yep, by turning into a bat, building a sanctuary. Be sure to put in there that I came to see that my short-term solution... <laughs> 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 Ha, 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 ha.